Once upon a time, in the world of the imagination, there lived a kind and gentle tortoise. One of his favorite things was to wander through the forest and enjoy the pretty flowers growing by the pathway. There also lived a hare who enjoyed nothing better than to laze about all day. He most enjoyed making fun of all the other animals, especially the slow-moving tortoise. Your legs are so short and stubby, you must be the slowest creature in the whole forest. And look at you, carrying that ridiculous house on your back wherever you go. I'll bet if we ever had a race, you would finish two days behind me. I haven't lost a single race, and everyone knows I am the fastest runner in the forest. Time after time, the tortoise had to put up with the hare's cruel taunts. But one day, he decided to put an end to it once and for all. If you're so sure of yourself, then I challenge you to a race to see who's truly the fastest. A race? You're challenging me to a race? All right then, but remember you asked for it. The fox had been strolling by and overheard their conversation. Wanting to help, he offered to be the referee. Have no fear, I've been a judge for a great many races, so I will make sure the race is run fair and square. I will mark the start line here. The wise fox explained they would race through the woods, past Farmer John's gate, to end at the old mill. was well underway, so the fox took a shortcut to Farmer John's gate. Soon, the hare found himself at the edge of the forest, overlooking the beautiful green meadows. Why am I running? There's no need to hurry. I'm already in the lead. That old tortoise will never catch up. As the hare began to stroll along, the tortoise steadily moved ahead as fast as he could. A short time later, the hare reached Farmer John's gate. But he was not content with just being ahead. He decided it would be fun to play a trick on the tortoise. Unaware of what the hare had done, the tortoise continued to plod ahead the best he could. When he arrived at Farmer John's gate, he was very confused. He knew Farmer John always left the gate open so every creature of the forest could pass freely. The tortoise looked to see if there was any way around the high stone walls, but they seemed to go on forever. 
It looked as if he would not make it to the finish line. I saw the hare lock the gate. As referee, I cannot help you, but I can help you to help yourself. The clever tortoise knew just what to do. He realized the hare was now very far ahead of him and was eager to make up for lost time, but stopped just long enough to thank the fox, then once again was on his way. Later that afternoon, the hare caught sight of the finish line. Well, I've practically won the race. Now everyone will see what a fool that tortoise is for challenging me. The crafty hare thought that nobody would notice.